This is an example of the true heritage of Europe and tradition and really passion. This is exactly the basis why Riedel is the only decision for us. Someone had to come along and say, these squat little fat glasses is not doing the trick. There has to be a better way. I think it's very, very important that you have the right glass for the right wine, and I totally go along with the philosophy of real glass here. It makes all the difference in the world. The presentation of wine is as important as what's actually in the bottle. Uh, the, the phrase, you eat with your eyes first, goes for wine too, you drink with your eyes first. The way it's poured, the way it's served, what it's served in is just as important as what you're serving. No one wants to drink Grand Cru Burgundy out of a Dixie cup. So my family is dedicated to glass, glass production, operating their own firm since 260 years. The phases were always related in production to the needs of the time. And my family members were always open-minded, open-eyed. Wine glasses are only a thing of the very last generation, starting with my grandfather, Klaus Riedel, who developed and designed beautiful glasses, winning many awards at world exhibitions. He created wine-friendly stemware. He created uh, the mother of all wine glasses. So for him, less was more. He took away the color, he took away the decoration, and he was the forefather of egg-shaped glasses. He created a technique that allowed to shape a glass that was able to capture aroma and taste. He was the first to be able to guide the flow of wine onto our palate. And his passion for wine, his uh, signature for glass design is something which influenced my father. I look up to my father. I see him as a mentor. I see him as the man who has paved the way for me. His passion is with wine, his hobby is wine. So for his passion, his hobby, he combined it with his work. What a dream job come true. And he met at the right time the right people. A Mr. Mondavi, if it was a Mr. Gallo, Angelo Gaia, they taught him, they built bridges for him to meet the right people at the right time that allowed him through sensory workshop to further develop wine-friendly stemware into grape variety specific stemware. He made Riedel the brand as strong as it is now. And I joined fairly young, fairly early. I was taken under his wing. I traveled with him the world. I traveled my own the world, became the ambassador, and influenced by my grandfather's designs, by the evaluation of my father, I started to become a designer for the company myself living in America, influenced by a very fast-paced world, influenced by a very modern world, I was able to, to continue. But I could have not done it without the education of my forefathers, in particular my father, George Riedel. History is always very, very important in Austria. I think, I think that Riedel class is a big part of Austrian history. It's, it's incredible, and you, you, you see the dedication what went over this generation into making a perfect wine class. It's our pride to open uh, a bottle of wine and have the proper vessel for really expanding that wine and, and giving it uh, another dimension than maybe ordinary glassware will not. Riedel is a mark of quality that restaurants like ours look for. You know, it's a uh, amazing, beautiful piece of glassware um, that you love to drink out of. There's just some products uh, in our world that are timeless, that are, uh, for one reason or another, um, exceptional in every way and have withstood every test of time. And for me, Riedel glasses are just the absolute standard.